So you decided you want to get into a career that helps people. But you also realize that you have a passion in fitness, human movement, and exercise. And then you're deciding, how can I choose a career that encapsulate all those things? And I'd love to do those things. Maybe I can make some money doing that. So you decided, hmm, well, athletic training sounds pretty cool, or physical therapy sounds pretty cool. Which one do I choose? So I hope in this video, I can help you make an educated decision as to which career path you want to get into. Now, I divided both of those professions into five different categories. I felt that these five categories were most essential as what you should know before you make that decision, because it's a big decision, right? So those five categories are job duties, schooling, tuition of schooling, work environment, and of course, salary slash job outlook. So I hope this video, while you're watching this video, that you can maybe take some notes, you know, create a document where you have the numbers side by side, and you can really see. And maybe during this video, if you're like, you know what, I really want to do athletic training or physical therapy, I'd love to hear it. Please feel free to comment below. All right, let's get into this Lego. Hey everyone, what's going on? My name is Dr. Justin Lee, physical therapist. I'm a high-performing physical therapy school coach and I help students get accepted into physical therapy school. And once they get in, I give insight as to what life is like so that you can thrive and live abundantly through the physical therapy school process. If any of that resonates with you, feel free to check out my other videos. But in this case, in this video, I do have a playlist where I compare and contrast different types of professions related to somewhat of physical therapy or healthcare and things like that. So go ahead and check that out. Okay, so athletic training, what do they do? So primarily, athletic trainers are the ones where they're maybe out in those sports, right? And someone gets injured, they're the first ones to run up to that athlete and evaluate what's going on. So they evaluate injuries, they go respond to medical situations, triage different types of people to make sure that they can actually help them. Whether that's maybe a concussion, a sprained ankle, maybe a torn ligament in the knee, or things like that. What they also do is what you probably see as well is they apply a lot of the bandages, you know, taping mechanisms, kinesio tape, so that you can protect or prevent different types of injuries. They implement rehabilitation programs to help them get back to sport. And they also create emergency action plans so that in case something does happen, they're the ones that create that plan so it makes sure that everyone in the stadium or everyone in the facility knows exactly what to do. Now, athletic trainers, I know you're thinking, well, it's only sports, but that's not necessarily the case. Athletic trainers are in the military, maybe in like performing arts, like you'll see athletic trainers in Disney or in ballet competitions or in, and things like that. Lastly, they also work with different healthcare professionals to make sure that the return to sport is appropriate, the timeline is appropriate, like physical therapists, physicians, orthopedics, and things like that to help the student or the athlete definitely get all the way back to return to sport. Okay, so physical therapists, you guys already know a bunch about physical therapy because <laughs> that's what this channel is all about. But if you're new here, what physical therapists do is that they evaluate and diagnose different types of movement disorders so that they can help rehab rehabilitate them, rehab them back to their prior level of function so that they can be independent and do their own thing. They utilize techniques like manual therapy, therapeutic exercise, neuromuscular re-education, gait training, and then they also fit people for different types of assisted devices, whether that's crutches, wheelchairs, a single point cane, and those types of related things. Now, physical therapists will typically work within the general population, but you can definitely have niches, niches uh, as far as who you really want to treat. Whether that's athletes, maybe it's uh, neuro patients with like patients that have a stroke or a spinal cord injury or pediatrics, right? Um, there's different niches like uh, aquatics therapy, uh, pelvic floor, right? And things of that nature. So schooling. So athletic trainers, in order to be an athletic trainer for now, only requires four years, which is your bachelor's degree. After you finish your bachelor's, you go in and sit down for the certification exam and boom, you're certified as an athletic trainer. 
However, in 2022, which is next year, um, they're gonna require all athletic trainers to have a master's degree. So we're looking at a total of about six years. Now, at this point, most programs will not admit any people who are going to be bachelors in athletic training. They're gonna anticipate them to move on to doing a master's program. Now, it's good to know that about 70% of athletic trainers do have a master's degree, so it's gonna be a normal thing. By the time you're watching this video and decide that you wanna get into athletic training, you're probably gonna have to get into a master's program. So physical therapists will require a total of about seven years, give or take, depending on how long things are. So you have your four years of undergrad and then doctorate school for physical therapy is going to be three years. There are some programs that have an accelerated track for about two or two and a half, but on average for the most cases, most PT programs are going to be three years, which means you have a total of seven years to get a doctorate in physical therapy. All right, so cost. Now this is gonna be extremely important as far as how much money you're gonna be dishing out to achieve this type of profession, right? Um, of course, these are estimated numbers and there's plus and minuses, but this is just what my research has found to show. Now in athletic training, it's gonna cost about $14,000 for a public school education, just for the master's degree, right? Or if you're trying to go into a private school education, it's gonna be about $50,000. Now when it comes to physical therapists, for public school education, it's gonna cost about $55,000 for the entire uh, DPT schooling, or about $110,000 or more for a private school education. All right, so work environment. Now, both professions is pretty cool because there's a lot of diversity and variety as far as where you can work. I know, like I mentioned, when you think of athletic training, you think of a professional sports team or a high school or college sports team, and that's primarily where you're working at, which may be true, but athletic trainers also work in under or the uh, lower level educations like K kindergarten all the way until high school, right? They also work in different hospitals, fitness centers, and like I mentioned, different places like performing arts or in the military. Now, physical therapists, of course, you have your typical setting like an outpatient orthopedic setting. They work with professional teams as well. Um, you might have, you might see them in a high school or college setting uh, specifically, but they can also work in a variety of settings as well, right? They can work in the hospital, they can work in different physician centers, fitness centers, and things like that. Pretty much both professions, anywhere there's, there's uh, injury that's prevalent, you're gonna probably see one of the two. All right, now salary. Now this is gonna be a big issue because money does matter. Now just keep in mind that the money, the median salary that I'm gonna give you is related to the Bureau of Labor Statistics and that's where I got my information from. But this can always vary depending on setting, location, uh, how much experience you have, and things of that nature. But on average, athletic trainers make about $49,000 a year and the job outlook is an upward growth of 16%. For physical therapists, the BLS, the Bureau of Labor Statistics, said that the median salary would be $91,000 a year, and the job outlook would be a growth of 18%. Now, at this time, this is from 2019 to 2029, so as the years go on, of course, these salaries and job outlooks do change. So at the time of this video, this is what the current status shows. So I hope this video really helped you make an educated decision as far as which career path do you want to go to. Do you want to be an AT or a PT? Put it in the comments below T. I don't know. <laughs> but um, guys, I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear some feedback as far as if this video has helped you and maybe even decide which career path you do want to get into. If you want me to compare PT versus another career, I'd love to hear it in the comments as well. Please leave your feedback. I read every single comment and respond to all of them. So trust me, I do pay attention and I do listen. Every day is a great day to lift weights, lift others, and lift yourself up. Stay lifting, stay aloha. God bless. Have a great one, you guys.